This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Ian Mayer leader with a 17.33. Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Stoltman. We are all done with our ropings for the year. I'm so excited. <laughs> They're a lot of fun and the events have been really great, but it's been exhausting. So we finished that up this weekend and then I got to go barrel race on Sunday, which was always a good time. Uh, so I'll show you guys all about this past week. Oh, well, we've made it. It's the last roping of the year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, I just seen the running around this morning, getting a couple things, getting Cody breakfast and things like that, and we will get started. Yeah, need a co-pilot. Self, as soon as the roping's over, prizes are handed out. I'm going to hang with my kitties. Oh, Tuna. Pulling out of the driveway, going down to Sunnyside this morning. Um, I'm tired today. <laughs> the roping went well yesterday. It was just really hot. Uh, but yeah, it's like 8 a.m. and I gotta head down there early because it starts at 10. Yeah, anyway, off we go. Should be a good day. I had both the boys loaded. I'm asked often about bleeding, aka EIPH or exercised induced pulmonary hemorrhaging. I can never say that properly. I'm not a vet. I really like to offer help to people and I get asked about this a lot. So I'm going to share with you what works for me and my horse that's a bleeder. He has been diagnosed as a bleeder. It's very common. It's not a game ending thing. It's something that is manageable. So because I like to help, I'm going to share with you what works for me and my horse. Um, that said, please talk to you a good performance vet before you do any of this with your horse. The only thing um, I would say is that like flare strips, for example, are a great preventative and they're drug free. So that's something that anyone can implement. But when it comes to pharmaceuticals or anything like that, please work with your vet. These are just things that I know work for me, work for my horse and are proven scientifically to help. Lasix is the best thing for a horse that is a bleeder. Please talk to your vet about dosage and how you should use it. You can give it intramuscularly or intravenously. I prefer, prefer personally to do intravenous uh, because you have a little more control over the injection in my opinion. Claude gets his approximately two and a half hours before I run. Every horse is different. So again, please talk to your vet and work with what will work for your horse. what that's gonna look like. And then I bend it with my hand a little bit too. Okay, so I'm gonna take my towel and I'm going to first wipe the nose a little bit, make sure I can get all the oils and dirt off. And then I'm gonna go back and actually brush the nose hair up. This gives it something to stick to. Okay, so then location of where I put it is gonna be about two fingers above the nostril is where I want the bottom to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the two sides and this part I'm going to hold my finger at the top here Whoop. and so there's a little handle there that you don't actually need to even peel off I'm going to go one more time and since he's moved around brush the hair up on his nose 
And then I'm pretty good about just eyeballing it, but like I said, I want it to be about two fingers above the nostril. So you can see there, give or take, is about two fingers. So I'm gonna line it up with his center of his nose. And I'm gonna just press it down with my hands like this. It's easy today because it's nice and hot out, so this is gonna stick well. Um, but if it were cooler weather, I'd probably hold my hand on there a little longer just to let it adhere a bit. And then we have our flare strip. So I am an ambassador for flare strips, as you guys know. If you're interested in them, have any questions, or want some discounts, uh, please send me a message. I would love to help you. Excuse the out of place video, but I realized I didn't really conclude my bleeder protocol. So another thing that I do that I did not get a video of the other day is I use a nebulizer for my horse. There's multiple different things that you can put in the nebulizer. You can nebulize before you run and after you run. There's lots of great things you can do for a horse that's a bleeder. So those are my kind of three main things. There's also other things you can do, including a feed program. So different pharmaceuticals and stuff that you can get from a vet that are great to feed your bleeder. I also feed the Bee Equine product. And there hasn't been a formal study done, but the vet that developed the Bee Equine CBD has in his own practices tried using Bee Equine and then started to wean horses off Lasix and found they were less likely to bleed. So great for lung health as well. Kind of in conclusion when it comes to bleeder protocol, talk to your vet please. <laughs> Please go talk to your vet and make a great program of how to take care of your horse. But for Claude, what I do, I know that he's a bleeder and that what I use to manage it is Lasix, Flare Strips, my Nebulizer, and B Equine CBD. I'm going to be running at Kennewick Pro Rodeo and in the slack so it's going to be kind of a late night but that's all right and then Friday morning I will be in Bremerton it's my first time ever running in Bremerton so that's a new one for me uh, we're gonna be in the slack as well Friday morning and then I don't think anything this weekend which is okay uh, Claude has been doing really well I'm really excited to get through to those rodeos I think they're gonna be really great for him um, so you guys I always appreciate you watching and if you're enjoying these videos please subscribe to my channel